Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Katie and I'm going to talk to you about my September goals and August reflections that I've been thinking about recently. So first let's talk about August. August was objectively for me kind of not really good when it comes to doing the things that I set out to do. Did not accomplish many of my goals, but I did some of them and I think I did a lot of work on them. Honestly, I did not have very many goals for August because I didn't know what I wanted and I was feeling very listless and kind of didn't know what I was doing with my life, with my channel, with writing, because I've been feeling kind of lost with writing. So we're going to start over anew in September. I'm going to basically be talking about my goals in this video, and then at the end I will show you a flip through. So just enjoy watching me create this, and then I will show you up close what each of the pages looks like without my hands. Sorry again about the crap angle. Um, I'm left-handed and uh, it's very difficult for me to position my camera high enough above and that you can also see because uh, my left hand is constantly in the way, as always. <laughs> anyway, moving on. September is going to be a month of tracking and trying to figure out what I did in the past that worked for me and to see if those things still work for me. August was a lot about me kind of just wandering around in the world and maybe doing some things, but not really working or developing strategies to complete my goals. So I'm happy with what I accomplished, uh, considering <laughs> I did, had no plans really of how I was going to accomplish my quote unquote goals. I'm going to take my health and how I live and function in this world more seriously. This includes walking, taking my meds, and making sure I journal and hydrate myself. I also want to track my writing and my hydration. And if I have a migraine for a specific day, because I have a chronic illness. Whoa. So I broke my goals down into three separate categories, social media, writing, and personal goals. I think my personal goals will end up bleeding into the other two types of goals that I have. I think as I develop a morning routine, as I journal every day, as I stay on track for school and um, figure out my life essentially and get better at dealing with how to have a routine, a schedule, and function as an adult, <laughs> Uh, I will get better at working on my writing and working on social media and basically making it a lot easier to be on the internet and write books. So my social media goals are no numbers based because I feel like uh, I don't want to attach my worth to that at this moment. <laughs> no hate if you do, I just, that's me personally, I think I'll get way too invested in it. But I want to make five YouTube videos, post consistently on Instagram. I would like to make more TikToks for fun. You can follow me on TikTok. I make really crappy cosplay content. Closet cosplay, I would add. Keep up with a blog, which I don't know if that'll work because I don't know if I want to keep a blog. And promote my creative endeavors across platforms because I'm very bad at promoting myself because I feel like no one cares. Um, and what makes me so special? I mean, I think this is something that everyone in their entire life deals with if they're an artist, or maybe if they're not an artist. Imposter syndrome. Great time. My writing goals are a lot softer and a lot more about me trying to discover what works for me while I'm creating content, trying to continue to fill my creative well while I'll be in school. I have found that writing has come to the kind of the back burner of my life, which is really kind of disappointing because writing is my passion. It's what I want to do for the rest of my life. It's why I started my YouTube channel. It's the only thing that I really would like to talk about at length. So developing a fun, no pressure project. I did that in June and I think I did a lot better at writing and continuing to write when I was writing that fun fanfic idea that I still haven't finished because I have commitment issues and never want to stop working on projects. I would like to work on finding beta readers, which, oh my god, that's stepping outside my comfort zone, which is one of my personal goals. I am really scared to find beta readers because sharing your work is scary. I also plan to have a 10k word day. I would like, and I did put this in as a goal, but I'd like to do a live stream. If you would like to do a live stream with me and, and you know, do a 10k day or whatever, uh, contact me, let me know, DM me on Instagram. I promise I don't bite and um, I'm very bad at replying. So if I don't reply right away, uh, it's not you, it's me. Um, <laughs> I would like to edit The Rat King one more time before betas in October. And I would like to figure out my project that I'm going to work on for NaNoWriMo. I am doing a experiment video, which will be coming out soon this month, that is basically going to be me preparing for NaNo. Kind of. Preparing to find a project for NaNo, which seems counterintuitive, but you'll see. So those are my goals, and they really are, I think, achievable, and I think they are goals that will overall improve my life and I would like to spend more time trying to obtain because I think my life will be better in the long run and I'll feel less stressed, anxious, and crappy about the fact that I don't post much on social media, I haven't been writing much, and 
I haven't been reading much and I haven't had much routine so I feel but at the end of the day these goals are not meant to be super pressured they're meant to just be guidelines for me to try to figure out my life and I definitely feel much more listless and restless without goals but I would like to reiterate that you should not feel pressure to put goals or make goals or have goals for anything if it's not for you. There have definitely been times in my life where making goals has just been impossible because I was dealing with so much other stuff. It's just I'm at the point in my life where I feel like I need to develop better habits when it comes to doing work and not being a workaholic because I'm kind of a workaholic. I put a lot of time into my videos, into my posts, into my writing, into my schoolwork, and I find there's very little time for me, and then I burn out, and then I don't post anything for a while. It happens. So it's just trying to be better at managing my life. That's been an update about my August and my September goals. So let's just vibe to the music. let's show you what it looks like. So this is obviously my beginning page. I did a very small plant because, you know, growth. I have my important dates, which I'll write down later. This is my habit tracker. Yes, it looks ugly kind of between 8, 9, and 10 days. Uh, I didn't use a ruler. That's my mistake. I'll use a ruler next time. I have my video ideas and my music playlist. Spotify link down below. These are my goals, which I hadn't filmed out yet when I filmed this flip through content content that I've consumed, and then this is my quote page, which says, it's impossible to find a life worth living in the present, even if you are longing for something more. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys have a wonderful day, wherever you are, whenever you are. Make sure you hit the like button and subscribe down below, and I will see you in my next video. Love you. Bye.